Hey there everybody and welcome back to another Blender tutorial where in this one I'm going to be showing you how to make this result that you see on the screen. Uh, you can see right here it's kind of like just a simple geometry node setup with under 10 nodes it feels like. So, well I don't know if it feels like it either is or isn't under 10 nodes. Either way, let me show you how to make it. So, uh, take everything, delete it in geometry nodes, add in an object and make that a geo nodes object and delete the group input. So, we have a blank object that we can put stuff inside of. Here's, here's the idea of how to make this thing. We're going to start off with a grid with a higher resolution, so let's say something like 15 by 15, so you can actually see the wireframe right here. And we are going to take this and extrude it, okay? What it's doing is it's taking each square of the grid and extruding it upwards because we have this set to individual. If we now make this a different offset or a different extrusion for each one, we get an interesting looking result. So. Uh, without all the theory crafting, the way you actually do it is we're going to take the position, we're going to separate it by, it turns out that the function for this is you can either add or subtract x plus or x minus y. That's going to give a positive slope if you think about the graph x is equal to y. Don't worry about it. Either way, we take this function, we plug it in here, and you can see it creates this kind of hill staggered thing. Uh, some of these extrusions are going negative, so I'm going to send this through a fraction, so it's mapped between 0 and 1, so the negative values get sent back to 0 to 1, and I'm going to take this and divide it by like 5, so it's a bit less. Now, if we add a bit of offset, uh, you can see we get this animated looking thing, so I'm going to animate this with respect to time, and uh, instead of having this kind of choppy kind of discontinuity, I'm going to uh, fix that instead of going from 0 to 1 and then back to 0 where we have this discontinuity, I'm going to use a ping pong function which goes from 0 to 1 to 0 to 1. It's continuous is the point. Um, okay, now to make this look more interesting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this by a random value. So not every single one is going to the same height. And this is basically the effect. So now let's set up a camera and make it look good. So, I have my camera right here, pick a view, I'm going to set it to orthographic and zoom in, and uh, now um, it's pretty much cropped in on this effect, so we're not going to see anything except for it, so let me increase this value. Um, the rest of this is basically render settings, so I'm just going to go to cycles, GPU, add in a HDRI environment. So really the hard part of the tutorial is over. So I've added in an HDRI, and then for the material, let's apply a material. I'm going to make it a metallic uh, material, so it reflects stuff, okay? So for this object, use the material, make it metallic, make it shiny, and there you go, you have the effect. And let me just turn on denoising so you can actually kind of see it. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, if you want access to this blend file and hundreds of blend files like this, uh, anything I've made over the last three years, uh, you can click that link below for Patreon access. It is the best way to support what I do here. If you like the tutorials and want to support me financially, even a dollar, that is the way to do it. So get access to blend files, early access to tutorials, and more over on Patreon. Thank you for watching. This tutorial has been brought to you by Skillshare, and if you haven't heard about Skillshare, it is the online learning platform that will teach you anything you want to know, whether it be photography, videography, even Blender. There are courses about Blender on there. Uh, you can find a course for you, whether you're trying to pick up a new hobby and you're trying to learn information to actually learn how to do that hobby, or you're more career driven and you want to, you know, learn stuff so you can get into industry, Skillshare has you covered. One course in particular I want to recommend is Southern Shadi's course about starting Blender your very first day. It is a course for people that are just learning Blender because I do these complicated geometry node things. You might just be getting started with Blender. So this is a course I highly recommend and I'm a fan of Southern Shoddy. And if you've been thinking about trying out Skillshare, now is the best time because if you click my link in the description, you get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So you could just watch a Blender course or other courses, whatever it is that interests you. And I should mention this deal is only available for the first thousand people that click the link below. So be fast, faster than everybody else.